Good morning guys, this is Mrs. Heisenmittal and I'm sorry I can't be there today for the first day of the quarter, but I'm at a conference, the Project Lead the Way conference, so I will be back on Friday. I'm sorry I'm missing you today, but I thought I'd give you a quick introduction to what design and modeling is all about. So first things first, we start off with design and modeling by talking about Basically, we do modeling, um, teaches you the basics of how to create a model. Um, in order to be able to do modeling, we have to be able to do designing, which means we need design process, we need to learn how to sketch, we need to learn how to draw in perspectives, and then we're going to use our 3D AutoCAD software called Autodesk Inventor to go ahead and turn those ideas that we have into actual three-dimensional models. So the very first unit we do is our safety unit, and all students have to pass a safety test with 85% or higher. Um, but don't worry, it's not like it's a super hard safety test, so don't panic on me. But it is one of those things that I need you to know the basic safety rules. Like, for instance, one of them is we don't put our hands onto the screens of the computers ever. And we'll go over why when you get to that. It's just kind of more procedural things and things we do and don't do in design and modeling. So our second unit is what is technology, where we talk about the design process, which is where you go through from figuring out what the problem is, coming up with some ideas, uh, developing those ideas, coming up with some ways to solve your problem, testing out those solutions, seeing if they work, and if not, going back and coming up with a new idea, and if they do, moving forward and building a model or a prototype and testing that and going further and then communicating your final results to your clients. Now, one of the big things that lets us do all this is measurement. And we're going to be learning both about how to measure in metric and how to measure in standard. And what I've discovered is that even though many of you can and do regularly read rulers, when it comes to being able to identify a ruler down to a 16th or a 32nd, you're having a hard time. So we're going to practice on that for standard rulers and how to do centimeters and millimeters with regular rulers. Then we're going to move on to sketching where you're going to be using a ruler to basically create the false image of three-dimensionalness. If you look at the two pictures on the screen, you can see the picture of the room, there's a little plus sign in the middle, that's the vanishing point. So you'll notice all the lines in the room trace back to that plus sign, all of them. And that's how you make the inside of that room look three-dimensional. And believe it or not, there's actually a vanishing point for the, um, for the sidewalk chalk art that you can see in the bottom picture as well. And I would challenge you to take a real good look at that and see if you can figure out where the vanishing point on that one is. Finally, after we get done with all of our sketching and drawing and dimensioning, then we're going to be working on creating our three-dimensional shapes. So you can see here, um, pretty simple, basic playground image where you get to build all the parts and stick them all together where they belong. Um, simple parts where you're drilling holes in them and making stuff pop off and all that kind of stuff. We're going to be using Inventor for that, but that'll be towards the end of the quarter. So I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what we'll be doing. Now I'd like you to go ahead and go to the Procedures Prezi and you have this page in your notebook but that my sub gave to you. And so you're going to go ahead, put your name on the notebook in the upper right hand corner so that there's a little box in the upper right hand corner just for your name and your class period so that when you leave them in my room I know who to give it back to and you're going to start off by finding the procedures Prezi note sheet and then the sub is going to go ahead and go to the procedures Prezi which is going to look kind of like this and she or he, I'm not sure who I have today, is going to go ahead and go through this so that you can understand what we're doing. So good luck and have some fun with the Prezi and I look forward to meeting you all soon.